So we're the Rare Pets. Our project is Snapbook, and we were here at LBI all week. So Snapbook. It's a book in which you can discover other people's stories that they have written, and you yourself become a storyteller by incorporating your stories within this book. You find this book, you read it, and then you write in it. So Snapbook um, is this concept that we came up with because we were very inspired with this idea of going back to the tangible. So you go to a coffee place and you see there's a logo. What is it about? It's because there's a Snapbook in there. So this Snapbook is um, all about being able to read and take the time and go back to this culture where you can enjoy yourself. We're going to be partially sponsored by an independent publishing company which will provide us with enough revenue to support our initial self. We're going to have QR codes on every page in every book to keep inventory of the writings and the readings that people have been doing on an app. Now, how are you going to generate interest? We're going to have blogs that are going to be advertising this. We're also going to have internet platforms and word of mouth with the Facebook phenomenon that's going to assist us in advertising this project. This will generate interest in people, and once people are interested, they can pull out their phone and they can actually decide whether they have time to go to a nearby location or far away. Furthermore, they can choose whether they want a particular theme. Do they want to read about somebody's Friday night or about a particular hobby or even any random subject of their choice? So, after that, they can actually decide to go to the location with their theme selected before and start reading. The book will be organized according to theme, each book having more than one theme. For example, write what you see, or how about a story that people have consecutively contributed to. Or furthermore, we're also going to have this book not be blank from the beginning by having a pre-phase development where writers that are original, interesting, or up-and-coming artists contribute. Then you can write, for example, about this gem. Based on how much you've written or read, you get badges. These badges will be kept track of on your app. After this, you will realize that this is a really interesting experience, and so you're going to unlock cookies based on the number of badges you received and get a free cup of coffee. If you think that this is a good idea, you're going to want to tell your friends to join you. So you're going to start advertising this to everyone around you, and other people will be coming to Snapbook. What happens when the book is full? Well, you close it, and you can put it away in the host of the coffee shop. Other people will be able to open it for reading, and therefore, after this, to get more books, we're going to be sponsored. We're going to be providing them with more books so that this process can continue within this coffee shop. So I'm going to pass over to Raymond here, who will be telling you about the user experience on the app. So the businesses and the users that are interested in this service can go to the website or use the app to register. Once registered, the users can start searching for the uh, snapbooks. Um, uh, each snapbook will have its own uh, home page. These home pages will contain reviews and previews of the contents inside. And it would also display location and uh, user rating of the this, uh, snapbooks. Um, once the snapbook has been chosen, uh, the app will help so, uh, the users can start uh, search for the Snapbook using different options. They can either search by location, by rating, or by different themes. Once a Snapbook has been chosen, the app will help you guide you there. Each user will ho also have their own home page. Um, this home page uh, is for the badges to be displayed and also keep up to date with um, their friends. And so why will people use Snapbooks? Well, there's two sides to the story. Why will a user snap use Snapbook? First of all, they're going to want to break this routine of linearity in the types of generic readings and coffee shops that are available to them. By going to this coffee shop that has already been identified by Snapbook as unique and a very special place, they're going to actually get this nice experience. Furthermore, the hosts will be able to gain um, three values. They're going to increase their brand, they're going to be put on a map, and they're going to have increased influx into their company, into their coffee shop. There's going to be different types of costs, but these will be partially substantiated by the sponsorship from an independent publisher company. And furthermore, we're going to have revenue from renting these books to the host coffee shops or selling them based on their preference. Some of the milestones um, that Snapbook intends on sponsoring is we want to internationalize and to different countries, starting with some of Europe, as well as going to the United States, where we believe this culture will be welcome. And furthermore, we believe that we will be integrating foras into having some sort of publishing system, 
or in the shorter run have a publishing competition integrated for the best work featured in some of Snapbook. So Snapbook is really about promoting this new culture that is encouraging literacy and encouraging writing and culture and reading and we also want to make sure that everybody um, gets a good authentic experience. Thank you. How do you make the transition of the content from the book to the, the internet? So we actually won't be providing the content on the internet, so the actual writings and readings will not be available on the internet. But through the QR code, you will be able to identify what has been written and what has been read by yourself or by others. So each page has this QR code, so whenever you go to a location, you, reg <laughs> you register and you, um, you put this code in and it will be enabling you to track what you've done, and this will enable you to accumulate those badges that I've referred to. Did that answer your question partially? So what, what you're saying is the book never goes onto the internet, only the fact that people have looked at the page if they actually scan the code. The app serves as an inventory of the books uh, for their location and for the authors and for the readers, but the book, the essence of the book is to be tangible, to be offline, so it will not be. You. online content available. Thank you for the answer. You also mentioned that this was going to be funded by an independent publisher. Do you know who they are? We do not know who they are. I think that is our next step. If we want to carry this forward, we're going to try to pitch to um, a partnership for an independent um, publishing company or uh, to get some seed investment as we will be needing some down payments for the app development cost as well as the distribution and production of the books. And what would the publisher's motivation be for funding this project? So either it's for their CSR or they're going to be wanting to promote some literacy and um, perhaps um, this is encouraging culture and reading and such things and it's really putting back this whole importance and value of actually writing by hand, something we might forget soon. <laughs> And um, perhaps also the CSR can promote some underdeveloped um, communities as well as children's um, increasing their writing and reading. Thank you. you. You touched uh, upon this whole thing about being more tangible and I think that's really interesting. I was wondering what kind of uh, user insights you gathered uh, on sort of testing the um, proof of concept. Because one thing is that we all think, hey, wouldn't it be nice to sit there and you know, write in a book? But is that actually reality or would people actually prefer to use a smartphone? Okay, so based on the research that we did, um, a lot of the people were very interested, all of a sudden were interested in actually going and reading. Um, there were less users that were interested in actually writing, hence the creation of the pre-development pre phase where we would have um, people that would actually be asked to write in them, such as up-and-coming artists or people with interesting international experiences. So it is a concern that people will not necessarily write. However, based on the research, we did have a lot of readers and some writers. Um, we also talk about like the book itself is not going to be just a blank book. So are the um, with like we're going to invite all those artists to like contribute to it. Um, we're probably going to design the book, so we might have some prompts, maybe asking people like so it's kind of speaking to the people as well. So the book is not just a blank page. How how do you do the tagging on the book? For instance, I go and I write down my piece of story and I leave there and someone wants to read something that relates to whatever I wrote, how they find. If I don't have a smartphone and I can't Can tag my stuff on Right, the so the QR code that's going to be on every page, will, um, you will input it on your app and it enables the inventory on the app to happen. And so on the profile page, for example, let's say this is your friend, it's not you, and Josh, um, has written in this book um, and it's been coded through the QR code, you can actually click on it and choose and find where it is and actually go check it out so you can read his writing. The same way you can check out your own profile, see where you've written, see what you've read, um, and other people can do the same. And also people who aren't your friends, strangers whose work you've appreciated, you can go on their profile page too and become a fan and follower. Okay. So I need, I need to have a, 
an iPhone and type my stuff on a right smartphone. Yeah. Smartphone. Finally, have you thought to, as a team about how you might take this forward? I think that um, quite a few of us would like to take this forward if um, if the next step, which is to actually see if we can get a pre-seed or a mini angel or partnership with a sponsor or investor, um, if that would be to work, we would definitely be interested um, because it would cover the initial cost, which is our concern to barrier to entry, but we would be interested if you guys want to raise hands, whoever is. Yeah. All right. Thank you.